Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 78 of my Direwolf 21.18. Let's play it Just Started Rainy. <laughs> uh, today we're back again. I had a, a really productive stream last night. Uh, got lots of things done. But one thing I didn't get done was <laughs> I didn't get my angel ring fully upgraded. So I want to do that today. And I prepared a few things to help that along. <laughs> now, not everything's prepared, just a few things that I knew I would need. Uh, I've never actually made these before. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I have my little flux capacitor, keeping everything charged. And one thing I want to mention about uh, the flux networks. If you click on this and you go to wireless charging, um, I clicked on the curio slot, turned on the uh, enable wireless charging, hit apply, and now the system, uh, the network will charge my curio slot, which the only curio I have that can be charged is a flux capacitor. So cool beans. What I want to get done today is upgrading my current angel ring, hopefully all the way up to a resonant an angel ring and uh, enchanting this flux capacitor with holding so i'm hoping this is kind of like um dire wolf's gadgets where it's limited to the enchantments that you could put on it so anytime you put it in there you just get this enchantment that would be really super cool but it probably isn't like that but you never know okay okay Let's get down to business. Now, in the stream last night, I made the base leadstone angel ring. We went down and killed the wither twice um, using my crusher. Uh, but I did turn on the option to use the essence, to, to turn off the essence and convert that into looting. But so far, every time I've killed the Wither, the only thing he's dropped is one Nether Star. So I don't know that it's worth it to do that for the Wither. Um, but I don't really have uh, a way to deal with the Essence over there at that setup at the moment anyway. So I got a few of the things for uh, the heart. Well, I got went down and I killed the wither enough to get all our upgrades. So I have six, six nether stars in my system. There we go. Six nether stars. So we're good to go on that way. And I just made some lumium glass, which you can do in the induction smelter with aluminum and two hardened glass. So that is good to go. We should be should be good to go just put our little guy in here oh it does not does not retain its uh charge okay well that's okay um block of elect is that the one that we need it looks oh it looks like uh, it will take either one Hopefully, and we can go ahead and take that one off. Oh, this one takes the high flux RF coil. Um, that's the different one. We might do we have that? I do have one of those. Okay, so at least we use one of them. Oh, 
Oh, my cat. She's looking out the window and she's making the little kitty sounds. She's like, I'll get you. <laughs> um, okay, so all we need is a signalum glass and a bucket of energized glowstone. I happen to have a machine that can do this, uh, but we also need to make the signalum glass, which is two hardened glass and a signalum. Okay, um, that should not be a problem. And we need this energized bucket. We have a fluid encapsulator. So how much the glowstone does it take to make one bucket? It's uh, magma crucible. One glowstone will get 250 more. So we need four glowstone. And we need a bucket fluid capsule. We need the magma crucible. Um, we'll also need to set this up to output to the right and this guy to input to the left. Uh, auto input enabled. I guess auto output enabled. Did you go? see it over there oh it hasn't actually done it because this machine doesn't have any upgrades um <laughs> okay that is gonna take maybe i could do this there we go that's a little bit better maybe he can even handle another one ah oh, that's the stuff that's the stuff. And we just put the bucket in there. And as soon as it gets that last bit, it should put it in the bucket. I thought it was going pretty quickly. Oh, it's out of power. Oh, the, the, the zhuzhing caused it to run out of power, so it restarted over and over until it just ended. So maybe we shouldn't zhuzh him so much next time. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> there we go. Woot. Woot, woot, woot. And that should be it. Boom. Oh, so good. And this one has 8 million FE. I look at that. Boop. And a boop. Uh, endearing blocks. We do not have endearing blocks. Uh, because I don't have any endearium made up. So that would be 18. Uh, that would be nine sets of endearium. Because you get two at a time. So... Oh, you know what? Did I? I made it to where I could just, so I could just do this. And I don't have to calculate how much of what stuff I need. It's just going to do it. It's just going to do it. Uh, we do have to, oh, it's got to crush stuff first. That's right. It's got to crush the ender dust and the diamond dust. There we go. But there is one thing that we don't have for the Resonant Angel Ring, and that is the Blitz Powder.
Um, if I remember correctly, it's glacial explosive. Hmm, this is a large area. Um, I'm thinking what I did with this. You know, usually like in a skyblock world, there's a way you can uh, get blitz to spawn. Uh, but it requires a dark room and snow. I'm not sure if it has to be like a cold biome. Just maybe the snow uh, might be all that is necessary. So... I don't have a lot of snow. I have four snow. Maybe we should make a little bit more snow. Uh, did you? Oh, hi, Sheba. How's it going? Yep. Have a good day. Okay, so I know where to get lots of snow. We just come out here to the little doodads. Do this. We got a well right there, so we don't have to worry about water. Uh, boom, boom, boom. make like a little containment area. Um, let's see, would this be good enough? Oh, why isn't, uh, did I, oh, I didn't put it on. That's why it's not being charged. Although I don't know, I don't know if I want to put it on because everything is going to be lost when I upgrade it. I'm not sure that this will be enough either, so... Alright, let's sleep. Um, I'll probably go ahead and pause the video here. Go and set up a small small containment area to see if I can get some of these guys to spawn. Did I? I did, did the thing. Missed me. Anyway, so I'll be back once, uh, once I get this thing built up and we'll see how everything's going to go. I'm trying to get a blitz to spawn. Um, I tried a dark room under my base. Nothing really seemed to spawn. I went and put another room inside of a snow biome. That didn't seem to work either. So I guess I'm just going to try some good old nighttime action and hope that I'm over here in a snow biome and I see a blitz somewhere. Uh, hopefully... What is that little blinky? Is that, I think that's a node for elemental craft, maybe. Uh, we got a little skeleton spawn over there. Get some zombies. Oh, look, we need some of those horns. So let's go kill this, uh, this defender. Oh, nope, can't touch. Sorry. Okay, let's 
come back to home base. This tree is our home base. Uh, the zombies are coming. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the, the husk. Uh, I'm looking at the mini map, <laughs> and that's the husk um, on the northeast like quadrant of the map. And I'm not seeing a blitz over here. Maybe I should try and wander around. There's a bun bun. Creeper. Yeah, it would probably be better to wander around than go out of range. Just some of these stuff. Oh, I think that's a nasty skeleton. Yikes. Oh, there's a polar bear. Not exactly what I wanted. Um, kind of zoom out a little bit. This, uh, oh, it's a little treat me. Whoa! Look at that town. <laughs> that. Pretty nice. I have to check that out. Um, I don't think I've been to this town before. Looks like an undiscovered part of the map. There's another husk that's trying to shoot at me. Ow! Get me away from there. There's another Wilden guy. Oh, I'm just hoping that I find a blitz. Um, I was watching a video. I don't think there's, there's not really any videos out that cover this. In past, um, versions of Thermal, there has been a way that you could make, uh, these things, but I guess that is not in in this version yet because i didn't see any recipes for it um yeah you can shoot but this stuff is not just not seeing any there's a witch Honestly, don't know what a blitz would look like right now. Oh, he's so angry. He's very, very angry. Um, yeah, so let me fly around for a little bit and see if I can come up with anything. I'll be right back. Okay, so my adventures into the night were not successful. I did not see a blitz anywhere. Uh, I stayed all night until the sun came up. Uh, and then I looked... I'm not sure if this is a recipe that is in there, but I'm willing to try it. Um, but at first I need to get buckets. Buckets of experience. Two hundred millibuckets. So a bucket, a bucket should be enough for you. Look at that. Whoa, they're doing all right. Okay. Um, let's go see if this will work. This is a fluid XP bucket. I'm not sure it's the right kind. It says essence of knowledge. Uh, 
essence, industrial foregoing, memory essence, and essence of knowledge. Not sure if that's the same thing. Well, I think we can try, like we can take that out. What does it say it is in here? It's fluid XP. I don't know if that oh, will work. Oh. Can't break that with your hand. Oh uh, no. Yeah, I kind of figured it was an old recipe. You can't even put snowballs in here. And it says in the fluid transposer though. So this is an older recipe. Oh man. I guess I'll have to wait around until nighttime again. I did, however, see a couple of defenders and I killed them and get, got those spikes because I don't have any of those and I needed at least one to be able to summon the Chimera. So that's, that's pretty good. Man, there used to be ways around this uh, to be able to get the Blitz stuff. Can I get my stuff back? Thanks. I guess I can just like what? Can't right click on that. Okay, I'll have to go put it back. Um, there is a way to skip to the night. I think. Do we have the hammock? Oh, we do have a hammock. It's pretty cool. So, um, let's see if we have all the stuff. Um, of course. Um, now, from what I think, what is this from? Comforts. Yeah, you need this rope and nail as well to be able to hang this up. Yeah, we got this one. So that gets you two rope and nail. And this is kind of like a, a tripwire hook, um, I would reckon. So let's put those away. I did build a room down at uh, Mob System. I just didn't, nothing spawned in there. So I may have to turn the mob farm off, uh, I guess by lighting the area up inside my mob system. But I was hoping I didn't have to do that. Um, just for giggles. I think it has to be, oh no, let's put it up on the sides. Um, yeah, this looks like a good area to rest and relax. Um, what I want to do though is maybe use some logs. I think it has to be four blocks apart, like that, and then you put this on there, and then you can right click this onto the rope and nail like a string, and voila, a hammock, and then you can sleep in that. <laughs> you take a little nap during the daytime, and it progresses time to nighttime. So now we can go back over to the winter biome, uh, which I found a town, a new one that was close by. It's Madlorier. <laughs> so let's go over there 
and hopefully there's uh, quite a bit of stuff around for us to do. I put my experience one back on because I didn't want to put any power in this one if it's just going to chew it up uh, when I upgrade it. I haven't even been into any of these houses. I just uh, got the waypoint and then went back home. Not sure if these spike spikes can summon or can uh, spawn the blitz. But I don't know. This looks like a good flat area with good line of sight like I don't like it when when it's wooded area because then I can't see the ground we are getting spawns all right I guess I will go through this night and see if I can get um uh, and get a blitz to spawn hopefully uh it will be soon Anyway, be right back. Oh, guys, my OBS messed up and I wasn't able to record it. It wasn't an actual blitz with two Zs. It was a blitz with a T and a V. It dropped a blitz moat. So I'm at least hopeful that I might be successful uh, eventually. Eventually. So I'll be right back. Look, here's a basalt. That's not a blitz, but we're getting closer, I think. Oh, guys, oh, guys, look, 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 look. Did it drop? It didn't drop anything. Seriously? Okay, I guess I'm back to it. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, I'm going to use my sword, though. Yes! Forehead! Uh-oh. Being under fire. I'm going to try and see if I can get another one before I head home. Might as well, since I'm out. So, huh, I will finish out this night and see you back at the base. Okay, I didn't see any more, so let's go back. Uh, it's nice to have those around. Oh, it was an ordeal, but we got what we needed. Okay, uh, so there's, I think there's no other way to do it, but to just put it through the pulverizer. You get three that way, and... A snowball and I don't think there's any other use for this except to turn it into blitz powder um, but we only need two so let's just put a pulverizer just put one in there awesome I did, I did see a couple of the salts and and a blitz but oh this is good this is good so now we need to make endearium glass i think i need uh, i need one more endearium uh, let's do this uh we're gonna have to make our endearium blocks uh boop and then Get some of you. I'm also going to need another thing of hardened glass. Put in there. Bit. Hardened glass. A boom. Induction smelter. There you go. And is that everything? Oh, we need the resonant integral and the resonant components. <laughs> um, 
I know how to say it. I just, my mouth will not do the words. Oh, I'm so excited. About to get the thing. Ah, yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and this thing holds 16 million FE. So, power drain. Get you there. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, okay. Uh, I still got my ring. It's on. It looks like it's charging. It's draining my battery down here. Which is <laughs> in turn draining that. So I guess we can turn our reactor back on. Uh, just so we can get power for light <laughs> that's a good reason right um i did realize that i didn't set this one up as an output an output and i don't i thought i did that uh but it wasn't actually putting the waste out until i clicked it again so yeah that uh, now we should be getting some juice some more juice. Uh, I probably have enough to fly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we can put our experience ring away again. And I think that probably covers it for this episode. I was hoping to get something else in the works as well, but it took so long to get this done having to hunt for the blitz and and taking up time building mob systems that didn't work i built one down by the mob systems i built one out in the snow spent several minecraft days just roaming around or nights roaming around killing stuff um so we got the resonant angel ring Yes, <laughs> I'm very, very happy about that. Um, I think the next step would be to, uh, well, I could kill the wither one more time just manually, just so I can get my spell book, and then kill the wilden chimera to get my spell book. And then I could get my spell book <laughs> to, uh, to have more spells. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Try to get the Wilden Chimera. Uh, now that I have uh, a good, I've had a good solid foundation in my base for resources. I, I feel a lot better now uh, knowing that I, have, I can handle all the stuff coming in. I'm probably going to have to go through my system because, let's see, yeah, look at all these bows. I need to set up a trash can that will pull all of the bows out and just destroy them. Uh, so, yeah, I have a can, a trash can. I'm trying to think what would be the best way to do this. I might set up, because I'm running out of room, I might set up a compact machine and put my, my trash cans in there. Uh, but pretty sure I will require a network uh, connection to do that. Uh, so we might look at... Network transmitter. So we not, might need to set up uh, these little guys. This, A, and A. Um, yes, and you need oh, a network card. 
thought there was one more. Let's look at. The wireless transmitter. You don't need this to make the the network work, uh, but if you don't have a wireless transmitter to access your wireless crafting grid, you really don't have a way to get into your system uh, yourself unless you take a crafting grid with you or a grid so that you can do that. So we will need a wireless transmitter. I always do the wireless transmitter just so I, I can use what I have already. Uh, so yeah, I will try to get this stuff set up for next time so that we can go in to a, or maybe I'll even just make a compact machine myself and do that off camera and just set up trash cans to filter out the stuff that I don't want now that we got all the stuff from the mob system in. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.